which part no man and I ain't got time to shake your hand. Get that style check. Put it in pockets till I get back. What's up everybody, it's Delta Will here, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. No, it's not going to be a little bit different. It's going to be an IDK GP. Um, this is what I used to do before. I used to always do IDK GPs. I didn't call them that before, obviously, but I used to never watch the video and record after knowing the video or watch the video while recording. I just started that with Advanced Warfare, and it's been it's been um, going pretty well. Like, obviously, I end on a good time and everything like that, but yeah. What this video is, it's um, more of like... I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's kind of like a question-ish kind of video. Like, kind of like, yo, I want to know if you guys like this kind of thing, right? Um, because I know my last, like, four videos have been very opinionated. And I know I'm a very opinionated guy, and I love that I could be opinionated on YouTube. But I haven't been fully opinionated on YouTube, right? Like, I haven't fully put out my opinions. Like, Optic Gaming fans aren't bad. Like, Sensor, Nate Shot they do have thumbs right like I, I i haven't been able to put up my opinions on all these things out there right but now that i have it feels so much better like i really enjoy being opinionated i i have an app called thumb which used to be called opinionated which you used to which you give people opinions now it's more like now now it's more like oh do you think i look cute like girls posting pictures saying oh do you think i look cute so i don't really use it as much anymore but before it used to actually be like do you think obama should be president do you think mitt romney should be president like stuff like that so it was pretty it was a pretty good app before now it's just like an average app right but but yeah so do you guys like me being more opinionated with like being me uploading more opinionated videos because before i like some of my my videos actually lacked like opinion and, and a lot of stuff like some of my videos i felt were kind of like repetitive and um didn't really they didn't really mean much because well they meant much they meant a lot to me but it was just like me talking over a mic, like just talking about a random thing, just talking and blah, 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 blah. When now I feel like I should be more opinionated and state my opinions and talk about my opinions and be and, and tell you guys why I choose to be this way. And I think that will be I think I'm, you guys are going to see this more on my channel in the future. Me being opinion opinionated. You guys are going to see my opinions more on this on this channel. And I talked about this in the past, me wanting to be more opinionated and stuff and starting forwards i'm gonna be talking about my opinions blah 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 but i never stayed with it because i because then i like i found some like good stories to talk about like minecraft uh selling and other stuff like that and i i just wanted to talk about stories and stuff and now i want to be more opinionated about stories again and yeah like th that's that's what i wanted to know like do you guys do you guys like the the previous the previous videos that i've been uploading over the ones like a couple weeks ago and a week ago and stuff like do you guys like these videos do you guys enjoy them like the the optic fans the new england one the shit talking so the optic fans the shit talking sensor sensor one the Haley baby one do you guys like those videos more than the ones before that like because i i actually like talking about subjects about topics i like talking about this stuff i like i wanted to be in a debate class in my high school but we didn't really have a class that i like obviously there was a debate team and stuff but i wanted a class where i could just debate stuff my teacher one of my teachers was like dude if i if you were here if you were a freshman and i met you i would have made a class where, where all we did was debate and that's all we did just because you're so you're so good at, at debating and stuff like in school i was good at debating i always started debates i always like won debates but I wasn't on a debate team. So I wasn't trying. I'm not trying to say like, oh, I should be like a debate team. I should be like a lawyer. I should be anything like this. No, I was just like one of the ones that would always like start up and start up like not an argument, but start up like an opposing argument about what other people would say. Like somebody would say like, I think we should be allowed to use the restroom whenever in class, even if we just barely get to class because we're trying to get to class. So we're not late. And if we use the restroom, then we're late. And I'll just be like well that's why you have bathroom passes and if you use your bathroom pass five times because you have only five bathroom passes in a semester if you use your bathroom pass five times then you shouldn't be able to use the, the restroom at least you shouldn't be able to use the restroom right when you get to class because that's just you're just wasting time for yourself like why are you going why why do you have to go to the restroom every single time when you come from lunch why are you going to the restroom every single time you come in the class? Every single time I'm sitting down, you always get up and go to the restroom. Why do you need to go to the restroom every single day that we're in class? Can't you go to the restroom during lunch? Do you really need to sit there and eat all your food, hang out with your friends, and then come to class and then say you're going to go to the restroom? 
You could have went to the restroom after you ate your food and then talked to your friends and then came to class and not had to go to the restroom. Why do you have to go to the restroom? You get five restroom passes for a reason. Like, I'd be that guy. I'd be that guy who's just in class, like, starting up little arguments with people, debating on, like, like just why are, why are you being so dumb? And then also with, like, the teachers and stuff, teachers would say something and I'd be the guy to reply with, like, a counter statement. And it was just so fun. I loved school for that reason. And teachers didn't hate me. Like a lot of teachers hate students. Like not they don't they don't hate students, my bad. A lot of students feel like teachers hate them, but it's because they're dumb. It's like that they're that person who goes to the restroom every day and then the teacher says you can't go to the restroom. They're like, Why do you hate me? You're and then they tell their friends, they're like, dude, Mr. Mr. Valadez hates me. He doesn't let me go to the restroom when I want. But no, there's no reason. To let you go to the restroom when you want. It's class. You had time between classes to go to the restroom. Please. Tell me how he hates you. Does he give you extra homework and then give you Fs when you don't finish the, all your homework? No. Do you have a B in this class? Yes. Is it because he hates you? No. It's because you're doing B grade. You're doing B grade work. Your work is being graded B. Because your work, the, the effort you put into your work is B effort. And the and the and the um, <clears throat> the product that is coming out of your work is B product. So that's why you're getting a B in the class. He doesn't hate you. You're not getting an A because you're not doing everything you need to get an A. All right. So like, I'm that guy. I love being opinionated. I love talking about stuff. I love it. That's why I started a YouTube channel. Besides to just besides to show you guys awesome gameplays. Besides to show you guys cool clips and stuff like that i started because I, I like voicing my opinion i like talking i talk non-stop when i'm when i'm on like a rant when i'm talking to my friends when we're arguing over something i stop non i i talk non-stop there's like you you can't get me to like quit on an argument like even if you prove it you've proven to me what you're saying is true i still try and find out how to beat you in this argument i still try to find out facts on my side that could beat your argument like oh well, water, water, if you put water in a cup, that cup is half empty. And then I would be like, but it's half full. And then you'd be like, no, it's half empty because there's not, the, the water is, because cause blah, blah, blah. Like, they'll say something like that. And then I'll be like, actually, the cup is always full because it has 50% air and 50% water or 50% oxygen and 50% water in the cup, making it a full cup. And then they'll be like, you f an idiot, dude. Why can't you just lose an argument? You always have to push things to the next level. You always have to make things more difficult. Why? Why? So are you saying the whole world is full 100% of the time? There's no spaces in the world? And I'll be like, yep, that's 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 what I'm saying. There's there's no gaps anywhere. It's always 100% everywhere. Every single cup, every single can that you think is empty, it's 100% full. It's just full with oxygen and air and stuff. It's not full with water or liquid. Nope, everything's full. The only time that you could actually get something that's empty is if you had like a bottle or something and you vacuumed everything out of it mm -hmm. or if you're in a vacuumed room a room that is, that has completely no like all that stuff you know that vacuums do i don't know what a vacuum does but yeah that maybe then the room will be empty but even then it'll be occupied by something maybe it'll be occupied the la by the lack of all that stuff you know so yeah it the room's still full <laughs> and like I'll, I'll be that guy like i, I don't want to lose an argument so even so I'll, I'll find something that's true in a sense just so I can beat you and I won't like I, I'll, I won't give up but I will admit when I when I've been like defeated like, I won't give up until I know for a fact that I can't be right that my way is the wrong way and their way is the highway right way you know what I'm saying so yeah nine minutes into this video I don't even know if I have any nine minute videos I'm probably gonna have to record like 16,000 commentary uh, videos just to get all these commentaries that I've been doing you know what I'm saying but yeah I'm finally feeling better could breathe through my nose my throat is still a little sore I wish it wasn't but it still is a little sore but yeah I can breathe through my nose I can do all this stuff now that I couldn't do when I was sick for like the last week it was so annoying oh yeah the new Naruto episode came out on Thursday this is Thursday when I'm recording this this is like 500 days in the future though when you're watching this so yeah I'm gonna watch Naruto now Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Dislike if you didn't. Comment down below. Tell me how you felt this, about this video. I know the ending was a little bit random, but yeah, you guys, you guys gotta understand me. I'm I'm kind of random sometimes. Okay, 
Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the annotation to the left to see my previous video and the one below to go to my second channel. I will see you guys next time.